Let's use Rx Hub when we prescribe. This allows us to choose the most economical drug, avoid prior authorizations, and most of the insurance companies in Part D plans do participate. It takes about a minute to download the entire formulary for my day schedule. Patients will watch me on my tablet while I'm prescribing the drug and appreciate it when I choose a low-cost drug. Here's the treatment screen. We'll add a medication. Let's choose something for hypertension, such an ARB like COZAR. We'll click on COZAR and it color codes the drugs. The, the codes are green for preferred, yellow for tier 2, orange for tier 3, and red for tier 4. COZAR was l more expensive than Avapro, so we chose Avapro. Now let's look at Nexium. That one's green, so should be lower cost for our patient, so we'll go ahead and choose that one. And for her diabetes, we'll look at Avandia. Well, that's yellow, but there's a green one there for Actos. We'll choose Actos instead. And finally, we'll look at something for hyperlipidemia, such as, uh, let's see, Crestor. So we'll type in Crestor, click on the name for Crestor. There's our options for sizes, but they're all orange. Lipitor is green, but let's look at a few others. We can try Simvastatin and they're all green, so let's choose Simvastatin, which will probably be more economical. If we want to look at our patient's drugs from other doctors, we can look at external Rx history, and it will show us all the drugs that other doctors have prescribed over the past two years. We can look at them by fill date in reverse order, or we can choose them by name. This tells me what the little white pill was that my patient got from her other doctor last week. We can also look and see what drug plan the patient's in. For us, TRS Care is the Texas Teacher Retirement System. And it tells me that she's eligible for mail order. Well, thanks for your interest. We'll see you again. This is William Biggs.